In this video, you will learn how to install requests library in the Visual Studio Code Editor. And do hit the like button if you find this video useful. Now the prerequisite for this installation is that you need to have this Visual Studio Code and the Python installed into your system. But if you do not have the Python installed, then I have already created a separate video for that and you would find the link of that video in the description below. So once we have the Visual Studio and the Python installed, we will open that Python project in Visual Studio Code for which we want to install requests library. And for that, we will click on this file here, then click on this open. And now we will navigate to the location where our project is present. So for me, it is present inside the downloads folder. So I will quickly go to the downloads, then projects. And here I will select this requests project and finally click on this open. Now before installing requests, we will create a virtual environment for this opened project because it is recommended to have a separate virtual environment for each of the Python project. So we will also create the virtual environment first and after that only we will install the request library inside the created virtual environment. But in case you already have the virtual environment for your project, then you can skip the creation part and directly activate the environment. And after that, you can install the request library inside that activated environment. So to create the virtual environment, first we will open the terminal and for that we will click on this terminal, then click on this new terminal. So our terminal is opened now and in this terminal we will type python3 space minus m v e n v and now we will give the name of the virtual environment which we want to create so let's say this is my env so this command is for mac systems but in case you are using windows then you would see the command on screen now we will hit enter to execute the command and once this command is executed successfully we will see this my env folder which is created inside our project folder and this my env folder will have all the necessary scripts and libraries in it now we will activate this created environment and for that we will write source space my env forward slash bin forward slash activate now again this command is for macOS and for windows you would see the command on screen now we will hit enter and as soon as this command is executed, we will see this my env within these brackets, which is the indication that this particular environment is currently active. Now finally, we will install the request library in this activated virtual environment. And for that, we will type pip3 space install space requests. And once this is installed, we will see this message of successful installation. Now to verify the installation, let's print all the libraries that are currently installed in the current activated environment. So let me first clear the terminal so that it would be better visible to you. Now we will run this command which is pip space list. So this will list down all the packages which are currently installed in the current activated environment. And here we will see this request library as well, which has this particular version. And along with this request, you would see some other libraries as well, which got installed along with the request, because these are the dependent libraries that are required for the proper functioning of requests. Now we will write a small Python script, which will verify whether this request library is installed properly or not. So first we will create a Python file. And for that we will click on this new file icon here and now we will give the name of the file so let's say this is main.py so this main.py file is created inside this request project folder so make sure you create this main.py inside the project folder not in the my env folder now in this file first of all we will import the request module so we will write import then requests and now we will also print the version of request so we will write print then requests dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore. Let's now save this file using command s 
and now to run this program we will again come to the terminal and here we will type python space main.py so now let me know in comments if this video was useful to you and make sure to hit the like button so our code is executed successfully and here we have got the version of request which is same as this one now the request library is installed properly and we can use this for our python project